Hello everyone, welcome to Family Mysteries Poisonous Promises. Let's uh, jump right in. So, apparently there's a later campaign. And we'll play on what, expert? No, let's play on advanced. Finally, I finished the paperwork for my latest solved case. The rest of the evening is all about soft classical music and relaxing. I don't believe my luck. What do you want now, Duke? Would I like some interactive help? Only special features. You'll encounter several types of collectible items, gifts, and cards. Gifts will morph into other objects. You can collect gifts only when they're in the form of a gift. Okay. So that looks like a gift. Okay, so it turns into a gift. A lamp glow is an indicator that shows whether you found all of the collectibles. If the lamp is lit, you haven't found all the collectibles. This. Okay. What do you want, Duke? Annoying spams again. If you don't want to play a hidden object puzzle, you can always play a pairs minigame. I... I want to do it, though. So, skip. I guess not. Maybe we should do a pairs minigame. Am I not getting this? Oh, it's not it's not um, duplicate items, it's related items. So easel Okay, bird and cage. Bird and cage. Gotcha. Easel and paints. Where are the paints? Candle. I don't remember what could be a candle. Hmm. We got some jars. Oh, some weights and a scale, a balance. Stars. We have a chain. Candle. What is that? A scarf. We have a sword and shield. I don't know what that is. That's a hook. Uh, no. We still have that chain. Haven't figured that out yet. Okay, hook and chain. Ah, this must be a cork. Feather and ink. Scarf and moon. No. Stars and moon. A hammer and a nail. A jar. It's a pretty forgiving system, I gotta say. I'd rather just do the hidden object. Oh, it was a vase and a rose. Never mind. Mr. Call. Oh, that's cool. Look, look her hand moves like I do. <laughs> Duke probably called with a good reason. I should call him back. Hey, partner. It better be important or... I know it's your day off, and I'm sorry to bother you, partner, 
but I have a drowning victim that looks ominous. More than usual, it's a murder or an accident. I need your expertise to help me with this one. An ominous looking drowny? All right, but after this, we're even. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I've sent a driver for you. See you there. That dude looks way too baby-faced for that gravelly voice. <laughs> Good evening, Detective. Officer Lynch here. I'm waiting for you downstairs. The driver is already here? That could only mean... Ugh. Duke sent the driver before he even asked me for help. That's awfully presumptuous. To help or not to help? I mean, we just told him we're going to help. We're not going to... That would be a lie. Great. No time to waste, then. I mean, imagine if we hadn't done that. Imagine if we just said, Oh, I'm just going to leave. Even after telling him we're going to go help him. How unprofessional. During this investigation, you'll use your smartphone to document any type of evidence you can use in deductive analyses. During the game, you'll be able to perform deductions here if you had collected all the necessary evidence. You'll be informed when the first one's available. We don't have any evidence yet. There's a collectible, a card, and something else, a gift. Come on, turn back into a gift. Okay. Good evening, Detective. Here, Detective Duke said you'll need the case file. Thank you, Officer. Let's see what's the case. A yacht exploded at sea tonight. Okay. Were there any survivors? Two, apparently. A young man, Mark, and a young woman, Elena. The weather forecast for tonight? Rain and thunderstorm? Why'd they go out to see if they'd known a storm was coming? A thunderstorm without the thunder cloud? That's kind of weird. What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, here it is. The nearby Coast Guard Lighthouse received an SOS at 2113. 2113. <clears throat> Both survivors stated the third person was on board and is now missing. She is Mark's fiance and Elena's sister. A young redheaded girl, age 27, named Veronica Gore. The survivors are taken care of at the general hospital. The cause of the explosion, possible engine malfunction. To summarize, a young, red-headed girl is missing from the shipwreck. Let's see what's hidden inside the yellow folder. The body of Jane Doe washed ashore at the Shark Bay tonight. Shark. And. I guess that's the bay. An anonymous, anonymous caller phoned in to report the body. The location from which the call was made is unknown. 
An ambulance is waiting for me to check the body before it's transported to the morgue. So that's the morgue. Female age 30? No, it's age 27. No, green eyes, red hair. Hmm. A possible murder victim. But the ages are off. Are these what two if connected? The two accidents are connected. Well, we've arrived, detective. Partner, over here. All right, before we do anything, let's look for our cards and any morphing objects. Here it is. And can we do anything with this evidence? We don't have enough clues to do a deductive analysis. Too bad. All right. Thank you for coming, partner. The body is already bagged, but you can still investigate and use anything you need from the ambulance. Also, you can inspect the spot where the body was found. Here, it's pretty dark out there. Examine the body. The drowny washed up on that part of the shore. Ooh. Let's look at the body first. Or I can... Okay, so there's a hidden object thing here. Let's do that, those are fun. <laughs> okay. So we've got, looks like a star pattern. There it is. A crab. Where are you, crab? No, I'm not seeing it yet. Let's go on to the next one. A hat. A crab, a hat, or a hook. There's the hat. There's the crab. The hook. There it is. Alright, lizard, octopus, and then some sort of cork thingy? This thing. Yeah. An R. The R is right there. Lizard, octopus, octopus, lizard. Where is the lizard? I'm not seeing the lizard. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, shell, yin yang. Well, uh, yin yang, but it's broken. Maybe they are part of the yin yang. Oh, what was that? This was changing. Okay, well. Never mind. Where is the other part of the yin yang in the lizard? Oh, there's the. Okay. That blinked. So we got an amulet. That's this one, I believe. But. Okay, the bird won't give it to me. I haven't seen the shell yet. I can free this with a scissors. This is a crank. That's not helping me immediately. Uh, 
Okay, I need to get. I need. Okay, there's the crank thing. So crank to open the bird cage. And then scissors to free the turtle. Revealing that. And then we got a fish to make the bird go away. Giving us the amulet. And we still need the lizard. And why is this slowing back here? Any other interactables? Hmm. There's a plane. So that guy can move back and forth. Where is the lizard? It's probably really obvious and I'm just an idiot for missing it. I'm probably like actually having my mouse over it the entire time when people are screaming at me. Oh, there it is. It's hiding up here in the tree. God, that was a hard one. Veronica, you're the best from Elena. Well, pretty clearly they are connected then. Yeah. An old motorbike. Look at the body. My daughter. Now, now, Mr. Gore, please calm down. You shouldn't be here. <laughs> That's a fabulous beard that guy's yes, got. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but my beautiful daughter. <laughs> I'll take him to the hospital. Let's go to Elena, Mr. Gore. She needs you now. Poor man. It's terrible to outlive your own child. These green lions are another piece of evidence. I'll need it for later deduction. Maybe poison? Did the watch stop when she fell into the water? What's that say? For my Veronica Mark. The time of death was just before nine o'clock. Let's check the ambulance out. The medical symbol with a staff and snakes. Okay. Am I looking for 
an object that looks like that. There it is. Protected with a three number code. Oh, what was this? No. Got a medical kit. With a card. Panel card. And it's got a little plus on it. That means I can look into it more. Oh wow, there's like a ton of stuff here. Got a cotton swab, apparently, in a vial. And a DNA solution. All right, let's look at this. So we have a card. Slide the items along the line to their proper places to unlock the features. I mean, what, okay. So that needs to be, okay. This belongs down there. Uh, there's probably some sort of an oiler thing I could be doing to know what order I need to do them in. So this has a length, this has a degree of three, three, three. They all are three. And this is one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm overthinking this. So that's actually already in place. Yeah, I was overthinking that. <laughs> now what? Ah. So, drugs are 7 to 10. This doesn't matter. Respond to a call from Coast Guard after they saved two shipwreck survivors. Mark Brenton, a small wound on his left, left calf. A calf, non-threatening. Heart rate and blood pressure normal. Elena Gore, exposure to smoke, followed by an anxiety attack. Both transported to the hospital. Mark and Elena were both transported by this ambulance. Okay. One twenty over. You can't tell someone's blood pressure by by. Maybe you could. I'm, I'm skeptical. And apparently I'm getting more and more concerned. My heart rate has spiked. I think I took my blood pressure medicine today. Vehicle condition. They keep track of their tires? That's pretty cool. Like, my car doesn't do that. Hi, Mike. I had to change the code because others were using a microscope without permission. 468. We need two swabs and one DNA solution? I mean...
Why, why, why does it think that the DNA is first? I'm not sure I understand this terminology, but sure, DNA solution. And then a swab. I don't want a clean one, I need a sample first. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's go out of here. Back up, back up. How do I back up? We're jumping ahead of ourselves. We need to, get to examine the body first. What is this? Arthur Christie is a good man. I'm the real executioner by Mary Kelly. Maybe a reference to one of the other games. Oh, that was step one, step two. I thought it was saying we needed two of them, but no, I'm wrong. Find and select all five types of particles, <laughs> which are specified on the list to the right. Okay, well, we're looking for one of these, and then two of these. That's the wrong one. Whoops. Spiky ones. No, not spiky ones. It looks like these. That one. And now green spiky ones. And oh, one more. And now blue, really spiky ones. <laughs> DNA <It's> sample <laughs> contains high levels of histamine toxicity which can cause a severe blood cell and heart degradation with symptoms of anaphylaxis. If not treated properly with antidote within a few hours of histamine toxicity. I have to take a look at the evidence I've collected. Something, something. When all the clues for the deduction are gathered, you can examine them carefully before the sorting begins. Inevitably leads to a very painful death. We find a medallion. Only Mark and Elena, no father. Stan. Time of death was just before 21. SOS call for help was after 21. Veronica died 20 minutes before they called for help. Green lines point to poison exposure. Two cases, they're definitely connected. So they threw her off when they after poisoning her, maybe. You can use evidence to draw conclusions and move your investigation forward. Move the case file to the case circle. Evidence crucial to your investigation is stored for further deductions. So the victim is the girl. The weapon is poison, and the witnesses I mean, I, 
Does this count as witnesses? I don't think so. It's more evidence. It counts as time of death. I can't put on any. Oh. Veronica obviously knew Mark and Elena, but was she on the yacht with them? The time of Veronica's death and the SOS signal from the yacht don't match. Also, the poisonous marks around Veronica's lips points to a murder case. I should visit and interrogate Mark and Elena at the General Hospital. Please, officer, to the General Hospital. What's going on in here? Where's Elena? I'll kill her! Get out of my way! Let me go! Calm down, Mark. I can't let you near Elena. Nobody knocks down my partner. Get out of my way! <laughs> There's a combat system. Okay. Drag a path between three or more matching symbols of your colors to fill your rings and overcome your opponent. If you fill your opponent's rings, you lose. So I need red, purple, or orange. I don't want too much of yellow, I guess. Okay, I see. Yeah, um, like, I almost have to fill up some of his in order to clear it out. That's a lot of blue. I mean, that's a lot of blue. Maybe we just get rid of all the blue and um, treat that, and then we never touch any green. Like, I feel like I'm not getting very good options here. There's not even very much purple on the map. Here, we can fill up some yellow. Get that out of the way. Blue's already full, so might as well get rid of it. Same with yellow. Got our red. We're gonna have to get some green. I think we might have lost this one. <laughs> you just didn't give me enough purple. Let me go. Let's try that again. Hmm. 
That gave me so little purple. Oh no, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm the detective. Oh my goodness, I am an idiot. I've been filling up the wrong colors. Well, the game is being generous then and letting me. I can't believe I missed that. more green and a bit more blue let me go oh. Duke the cuffs quickly we didn't do that well with that one <laughs> get out of my way let me go Nice and easy, detective. I don't trust him. Seems like a scumbag to me. Alright, let's find the gifts first. Gift right there. Yeah, I want the gift. Okay, I talked to them. Here, that angry man dropped this. Detective Duke went after him. And yes, Elena is locked in her room just to the right. The key is behind the receptionist desk. Great. No time to waste, then. I'll need to see another patient, but I'll check on Elena later. The reception lights are out? Really? I need to insulate the wires. All right, let's look at this wall. We got... Meet you here. Oh, dear. A love letter from Elena to Mark. Is this where they consorted behind Veronica's back? How sorted... <laughs> Alright, gift. And is there a playing card somewhere? There. Time is ticking away. Oh dear. So, we don't have enough clues to perform deductive analysis. I don't know, I wanted to put that motive there, but I guess we'll get it eventually. Alright, let's go talk to her. Oh, wait, wait we need to insulate. I gained some hot coffee? So use the sticker? 
<coughs> okay. What else can I do with this hot coffee? None of these are really interactables, they're just question marks. Like, I don't want to use the love letter, no. But I don't think hot coffee's gonna work either. What can I do with hot coffee? Oh, I can grab a sticker. Okay. That's Elena. What's she doing? We just need some hot coffee to steam that off. And now we can do a hidden object. All right. Screwdriver, stethoscope, ambulance, teardrops. They're two different colors, so I'm not sure what that means. Probably the blue ones I can't do yet. This one, the CD turned on and off. So maybe there's something shifting that would let me get it. There's a butterfly turning into a, um, I don't know what that's called. The Caduceus. Yeah, okay, that's okay, so when it turns back to Caduceus, then we grab that. There you go. Stapler teardrops. There's the C D. Stapler. Screwdriver and teardrops and dart. Screwdriver. Teardrops. And a dart. I need to find all the keys. Why so serious? We need to find a smiley. There's the three, or a thirty, a knob, no, there's the fifteen, what's this, the code is four two nine. Let's go. There's the ambulance. Haven't seen the dart yet. A 
Lollipop. I need a shape code for a smartphone. Oh, there's the dart. So, room key, and I was looking for a pen that I could write a smiley on there. I guess I need like a dry erase marker or something. What does a calipers look like? That's a caliper. Okay. What shape? Is there something that's in the form of that shape? seeing it. We still need a key also. But it's probably like very bind here. Ah, there's the pen. And there's the last key. Alright, that's one more key. There's what we need. I gotcha. So, like this. I didn't see it well enough. So, right. Elena Gore is in room 28. Well, it's unlikely that her lover would have poisoned both of them. She's in V-Fib. Quick, detective, bring me the epi kit. Hurry. What? In the supply room, the red metal case with the syringe sign on it. The key card is in my pocket. Dude just told me to reach into his pocket. In the supply room. Uh, that's the thing I need. I guess I need many things. Saline? <clears throat> a 
before we do anything, we need to get our cards. And what's going to turn into a present? There it is. I missed it. Sorry, I'm going to let this woman die because I need to get this present. There we go. Oh, bravo, detective. Now hand me the sterile gauze. Injection now. Quickly, the EpiPen. Oh, she's breathing. Excellent. The oxygen mask? That's it. Breathe, Elena. Breathe. She's stable. For now. I still don't trust it her. It seems that Elena has been poisoned, but I can't tell the toxin. Veronica had the same green lines around her lips. I found this toxin in her DNA. How can we know it's the same one? <laughs> My bag. The lipstick. A missing pendant. I like how it's happening over here too. Looks like she's unhappy with Mark. Poisonous lipstick! I'll check it out. Doctor? Elena, don't worry. Our good police detective will keep you safe. Police? Oh no. Veronica, is she dead? I'm afraid so. The investigation is in progress. I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. It would help me. I'll do what I can. I don't trust her. She's full of secrets. Tell me... Threat, compassion, or humor. Interrogate Elena about Veronica's death using specific items. Choose the correct form of addressing her in order to get a straight answer. I, I somehow think that humor is not the right response. I should start with something less disturbing and ask her about her relationship with her sister. Okay, how do I do that? I want to put it under compassion? Please, would you be so kind as to explain to me why Verona only kept photos of you and Mark? In our favorite medallion. Your father wasn't among our favorites? That doesn't seem like the right thing. Tell me what you know. Veronica only disliked your father. Could he be able to harm her? What about Mark? Is your why are you so focused on the father? Like how many people carry around a medallion with a picture of their parent? We should be compassionate. She almost died. Mark adored Veronica. But her and me, we were all right. But after our mother passed away, we got close. Still, Veronica never liked our father. Stan, she called him. Never dad. Never father. 
Where was Elena at the time of her cause of death? That's Veronica's wristwatch. I know it's difficult for you to talk about her at the moment. Can you tell me where you were at that particular time? That's terrible. It's time to come clean, Elena. That's Veronica's wrist wristwatch. It stopped when she fell into the water. What were you doing at that time? Was it you who pushed her? Or was it Mark? Mark was making a new round of cocktails in the bar when Veronica went on the deck to catch some fresh air. Suddenly, something exploded. Fire, smoke, it was awful. I must have passed out because I don't remember anything else. Explain this love letter. <laughs> this is kind of a delicate question. Were you in love with Mark or had any sentimental aspirations towards him? You really are something. You tried to steal Mark away from Veronica, didn't you? He refused, so you took it out on Veronica. Confess and burden your guilty conscience. I've been poisoned, detective. Give me a break. I'm not in the mood for this now. I mean, you really want me to make a joke with you about this when you just died? That's in the past. I'm... I was in love with Mark. I'm not anymore. That's Mark's office. We used to meet there. We weren't doing anything bad. Just talking. I am shocked that that was the right answer. I don't have any other pieces of evidence, so... Sometimes it's better not to change makeup brands. Have you and Veronica changed your brand of makeup? Who gave you that makeup? Was it Mark? Tell me or you'll be charged for obstruction of justice. Let's go for compassion. Yes, a special line of lipstick which Mark made as a present especially for Veronica and me. Mark insisted that we wear it tonight. Thank you, Elena. Give me that back, please. Mark's Small Factory. It's the same poison. I've got the antidote. She'll be all right, but she needs to rest. All right, doctor. Take good care of her. I should take a look at the evidence I've collected. It's a beautiful game. All right. So this is Veronica's sister. She had, she was attacked from by via her lipstick, which is the same type of poison that was used on Veronica. Coated with a poison called histamine. I mean, it, it's it's probably not called histamine. Histamines aren't poisons as such; they're allergens. They're histamines. Anyway. Photo of Mark with scratch marks. Possibly a lady did the scratching. So that kind of reinforces the idea that maybe they broke up in the past. Mark's factory. It's a meeting place for them. And we're asking, is Veronica the co-owner? Why would we think that? Elena's love letter. Elena says in the past. But if Veronica found out, that could be impossible m m murder motive. So like we said, that's a motive. It's happening at uh, another victim. The v lipstick is the weapon. This guy is our suspect. And we think it might have happened at this old factory. Elena isn't telling me everything, but someone did try to kill her. The poisoned lipstick points nicely to Mark, who owns a makeup factory. Still, his motive isn't clear. A secret love letter can lead to jealousy or revenge, but it seems too weak for my taste. I believe it. I should visit Mark's office to check for more leads before I can determine his guilt in this murder case. We haven't even questioned him yet. Officer, quickly, take me to this address. Well, we've arrived.
drive, detective. All right. There's no more, nothing objects here, so... Officer, please hand me the surveillance kit. Oh, here you go. But there are things here, so what should we find? Look for our present, it's right here. Just need to wait for it to switch back. Present! God, we're, we're so far from the game being done. This is going to take a while. MB, Mark Brenton. Too dark, smartphone flashlight to the rescue. S some sort of a uh, box of dog cookies? Yeah, let's see if we have anything in our surveillance kit that might help. So we have a spy kit and a set of lockpicks. Can my spy kit help? No. All right. Out of use, but there's a digital card lock. V and M, Veronica's and Mark's secret love compartment. Hmm. Can we use the spy kit to get in? No. Why did you do that? That's just messed up, lady. Closed for renovation! I order a Veronica. Surely she wasn't murdered because of that. The official detective spy kit will help me look inside. Something terrible happened inside. Is anyone still in there? Where do these buttons do? There's footprints. There's a dog. Oh, that was close. Okay, so we need to apply some tension. Like, what am I doing here? I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but that's okay. Two. Two, four. Two, four, five. One. I'm just always getting it wrong. Small click out of three. That dog might still be on the use. There's still stuff out here I haven't gotten yet. But maybe we're going to come back out. Like, I really do want to be able to get this. Something long and thin, but I don't have anything. I don't have a card either. We're going to have to get the card from inside and then come out. What happened here? Doug. Oh, 
Oh, I'm picking. I'm finding clues. Okay, there's something the dog's got. There's a blood stain. There's a footprint. This grate is down. This locker's open. This bloody handprint is not a clue, apparently. Broken lamp. This is a long grabby thing. Some sort of a safe behind the picture. And... Some... This blood stains? No, we already got that. We got a map over there. I'm surprised this doesn't count. I feel dizzy. I need to focus. This? No. The knocked over chair? Really? Let's see what the clues can tell me. Someone breaks the vent lid. Then they knocked over the chair. He enters the room, leaving a muddy footprint. He's inspecting the desk when the dog attacks and wounds him. He falls and breaks the lamp. The burglar bandages his wound. Then he opens the lockers. Looks behind the painting and finds the safe. But he hears me coming. He gets away the same way he got in, knocking the chair down. Leaving the camera behind. Sure, we'll go with that. I wonder what's hidden inside the safe. Long grabby thing. Here's a pin here's a present. Here's the playing card. Hi doggy. Need to bring you some food. Some dog biscuits from outside. Like I wouldn't give that to him with my hand on my hand. I I'd toss it to him. It's not digital. We need to find a machine to develop that. Who doesn't use a digital camera these days? Video is locked. A hearth token. Mark and Veronica are both excited about the cruise. Mark Brenton Cosmetics. Reminder to Mark, finish your blog for once, or none of your customers will ever learn our cosmetic company exists. Snap out of it, Mark. It's our business and our life savings on the line. Don't you dare to make another promise. Just finish it already. Mark was in trouble for being a lazy fellow. It's going to be all Mark's fault, isn't it? Dear Mr. Brenton, I'd like to warn you that your financial troubles are no longer just troubles. You could go bankrupt as soon as the very next month if you continue to spend more money than you produce. Please take this warning seriously and don't ignore it, as all my other warnings. Or I, as your accountant, can't do much more to stop your firm from bankruptcy and will be forced to resign. From Nathan Grimm of Last Resort. And we need to get this. 
And we don't insert encrypted phone. Does my phone work? No. I need a special cable to connect the phone. I don't have an encrypted phone, so I don't know what it's, think what it's talking about yet. Ah, what's this? The bank and the lover's hideout are marked with special tokens. So that's the bank. And that's the lover's hideout. I have no idea what this is about. What? Okay, let's 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 back out of this for now. You have one new message. Veronica, my sweet love, if you're listening to this, she has probably eliminated me. Save yourself. Take the evidence we collected and show it to the police. They'll protect you from your family. I love you, Veronica. Forever. That's interesting. Mark and Veronica had a secret voicemail number. What's that? A hidden smartphone? Hmm. Maybe that smartphone can provide me with the answers. But it's encrypted. In C++. C++ is the best encryption. Alright, just a moment. I have to get that. My apologies. Let's continue. I noticed there's this 429 here. I wonder if that's significant. Probably not. Can't zoom in here anymore. Can't zoom in here anymore. We might be done with the outside. Alright. So we got the money token. Use the arrows to move the money token to the bank and the heart token to the lover's hideout in order to unlock the safe. Ah, okay. That's the bank. Oh, I see. It slides along. I wonder what we were doing. Okay. So this is easily how you get to the, the heart icon. This time somewhere else. Then okay. Uh, is this helping? Maybe not. Money! Mark has gold. Was he preparing for an escape to a foreign country where they don't have things like paper money? No, he's got plenty of paper money too. I don't take from criminals. He's got a wedding ring too, or some sort. Here's the cable. No, I guess move the watch first. A police car in front of a wealthy house doesn't seem familiar. Uh, 
Um, it's a five-digit code. Here, let's let's do this first. Search the photo of Mark and Veronica for all the digits of the locked video code. There's a four. It's an interesting little system. I'm not seeing a number there. One. No. Five in her eye. I'm not sure what that's supposed to signify. An eight. One more number. Seven. Eight five one four seven. Zoom it, Veronica. I won't take it anymore, no matter how much money you give me. Easy now. Think of your beautiful two girls. Who's that? That's a lot of guns. That's a lot of money. Guns plus money equals gun trafficking? That's Stan Gore, Elena and Veronica's father. That changes everything. How on earth did you get that? <laughs> I should take a look at the evidence I've collected. She took a picture of the inside of a building and was able to figure out where in the city that building was located. That's uh, that's impressive. All right, we got a warehouse, a meeting place for gun trafficking. Stan with an unknown man. Is Stan the victim or is he a warlord? And who's the dude? We have some undeveloped film. Mark's no longer a suspect. He's probably a crucial witness. So I should grab him and put him there. And this is no longer the right motive, or maybe it is, but okay. Nothing else I can move. The warehouse is here. Do with the with the potential unknown man, possible threat. We have a voice message. Veronica, my sweet love, if you're listening to this, she has probably eliminated me. Save yourself. Take the evidence we collected and show it to the police. They'll protect you from your family. I love you, Veronica. Forever. But I can't. I can, okay. So. They want me to put it under suspect. I don't think that Mark had murdered Veronica, his love, with whom he investigated Stan and the unknown man on a gun trafficking charge. Still, who's she? And why is she a threat to Mark? Who's the burglar? And what's hidden on the disposable camera? Where is Stan Gore? I mean, he was at the... This case is getting stranger by the minute. Okay. Unknown man! I need to see that warehouse. Then I'll present all the evidence to the chief of police.
Please, officer, take me to the repository lane 28. Hey, partner. Did you track Mark down? Mark went to meet Stan Gore at the warehouse on the... Repository lane 28. How did you know? Wait, something's going on in there. I'm going in. No, Duke, wait! Officer, call for backup. No, there won't be any backup, detective. You've discovered too much. What do you mean? No. <laughs> Play through the first hour without skipping any questions. <laughs> Water is rising. I need to <sighs> calm down, breathe, stay calm if I want to get out. Playing card. Where's my present? There it is. And we did the first hour apparently in an hour and a half, but that's okay. No one can help me. <clears throat> My emergency bag. A window breaker, that's useful. My phone and the film will be safe in the water. That's clever. That's not how you use that. You push it against and you just kind of apply pressure. But that's okay. I could hit a ride to the warehouse if I climb up to the road. No, your, your first duty is to check back in. Yeah. Oh no, it's Duke! We know you've seen the face of the gentleman. Meet with us. You know the address of the warehouse. No cops if you want to get your friend Duke in one piece. I'm coming, Duke. Where's the present? There it is. This car, this tire. I couldn't help but notice that when we hit the guardrail, the, the tires of our car fell off. I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. This rock is, won't budge, but if you unbalance it, it'll fall down easily. Flashlight. Takes more than bats to scare me. You got a jack. Some booze. There we go. An umbrella? Why would you bring the umbrella with you? Because it apparently has something on it. An inflatable buoy. And we... Swiss Army Knife? I mean... It's... Does the Swiss Army Knife not have screwdrivers? Oh well. Here. Combine these two. I didn't want to come here. Go back. Do this first. Okay, we have a model airplane. A statue of a, a sphinx, maybe? But that's not accessible yet. Okay. So the ones we can get are the this thing. Dragonfly. And a fish. And a bike. 
but only only at times. Here's the bike. There's the dragon. I thought it was a sphinx, but I'm wrong. A rusp. It's just rusty. I need a rasp or a lemon. This is the fish. Pinecone. Spider. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we needed it. <laughs> yeah, clean this off. And we have some bolt some uh, wire cutters. This didn't help me at all. What I what am I? Oh, I'm, this whole thing is uh, an object. Okay. So I need a um, some sort of a. Uh, a three-leaf clover. This thing. A paper, a light bulb, and a model airplane. Light bulb. A paper. Now a model airplane. I mean, we had to do that by moving a rock. Alright, set of wrenches. Can I have some tape now? Can I get these off now? Two poles. All right. So we have climbing poles. We have a Swiss Army knife. We have tape. Choose your path carefully by selecting the safest holes to climb to the top. If you select unsafe holes, you may fall. That's a good one. And that's a little distant. Maybe I want to use this one. I don't know. It seems like that's a good hand span apart. No. Fall down once. Shame on me. Fall down twice. I better not. I'm coming, Duke. Oh, it's that sketchy doctor. Oh, detective. <laughs> what are you doing here? Soaking wet. Doctor, is it really you? Please, I desperately need a ride to Repository Lane 28 or anywhere near it. I know we couldn't trust him. Anything for you, detective. Pop in. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. So what brings you here? Well, I'm off duty. 
So I <laughs> borrowed the ambulance to run a small errand for a friend. I'm going back to the hospital. Ambulance 45, return to the garage immediately. You're not supposed to... <laughs> oh, seems like a storm is coming this way. A dangerous one. Luckily, I picked you up just in time. And how about you, detective? How come you're hitchhiking near the jumper's cliff? I bet it has something to do with that girl who drowned herself. What's wrong, detective? You all right? He's not telling the truth. You don't, you think? I want the card in the present. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. September 22nd, the 22th, Shark Bay Cliff, Veronica Gore, female, 27 years old, condition death caused by respiratory impairment. The 22th. Body was transported to General Hospital Morgue. He must know Veronica's name, or why they pretend. Bet! The doctor likes to gamble. I want the present. Get her! Not me, I hope. Okay, poison gloves radio. Hospital. This road leads away from the hospital. What are you doing, man? Yeah, he's. He didn't want to leave any fingerprints. Luck. Luck. Poison radio. In time. Was I really lucky to hitch this ride? Poison. Did he really borrow this ambulance? Poison. The doctor knew Veronica was poisoned. In time. Which needs to be adjusted. Gotta click on something first. Where is it? You got a watchman? He's driving away from the hospital, not to it. And judging by the radio message, he stole the ambulance. Why is he lying? Also, he knows that Veronica is poisoned, not just a drowny. He's wearing gloves, which means he's about to get his hands dirty somehow. He obviously likes to gamble, but he has lost his watch recently. Is he in debt with some shifty guys who forced him to capture a certain her? Is it me he's after? Oh no, he'll probably attack me as soon as we stop. We've arrived, detective. I really want this. Fine. No, you won't, doctor. I'm not an easy mark. But I do want the present. Come on, present. Present. There you go. And in the briefcase... We have a code. Get her! A 
And this obviously goes there. I should think about it some more. No, it clearly goes there. Come on, it... I better tie him up. Okay, they just don't want me to do it yet. Detective knows too much. Capture her and your debt will be erased. She's somewhere around Jumper's Cliff. Deliver her to the warehouse alive so we can interrogate her. You're now part of the problem, Doctor. Now it lets me do this. What is that? It's like... I don't know. I can't bring it down here. It's like a charger. There you go. I don't know it yet. I don't have the code. Oh, this is it. I'm an idiot. Oh, I love these codes. These uh, puzzles. They're fun. Select the tiles according to the numbers to form a specified shape. So, six. So, this is at least one, two, three, four, five, six. We got all three here. This has to be five, one, and five. This has to be five and one, so these five are definitely there. This is six tall, this is five tall. One of these, but we don't know which one yet. We got two in the middle, but we don't know which one it is. Three, that must be those three. Must not be that one. So that means th that's one. Can't be that one. Can't be that one. It has to be those two, so it's that one. Then these two, and then that. Tell us, where is the video? Poor Mark. It tortured him. <laughs> um. Speak and we'll stop. Four A two. I don't know why that's showing it to me now, but that's okay. Interesting. A little picture. The father and the daughter. This goes to the evidence board. It's interesting. Like an architectural diagram. I should almost. take a look at the evidence I've collected. Plan of the warehouse. A cagey trap is set in there just for me. And there's at least one bad guy. Poor Mark is captured. He's tortured to get information. And it's crucial for the investigation. They knew where I would be. 
but I know about their plan, so I'm at an advantage. The doctor's gone bad. The good doctor's involved. Probably blackmailed. Was he the one that poisoned Elena? No. So... This is the another another one of these. Another place. The motive, we don't know yet. You're another witness. I guess you're already a witness. The doctor is not our suspect. Or a threat. The get her note. It's not a threat, I guess. And Mark, he's a victim. Mark's no longer the suspect, but a possible victim. And judging by the note, I'm supposed to be captured as well. These criminals will stop at nothing. I need to get inside that warehouse and see who's behind all this, but I should be careful not to get captured. Get to the roof. Present. Card. Ambulance is locked. We need to pry it open. Can we do that with our Swiss Army knife? No. We have a trumpet. Or at least a noisemaker of some sort. A box with magnets, but the lid's nailed down. Can we use our Swiss Army knife? Like, they're not taking much advantage of the Swiss Army knife. No need to pick the lock, you can just cut it. I mean, why make it a Swiss Army knife if it's if you're just using it as a knife? Oh. The pins for the ladder. An instruction set of what to do, where to put the pins. And some pliers. Maybe I can pull them up somehow? With pliers? No. Can we use pliers to get in? No. Well, clearly we need the ladder, but we need the pins first. Pliers to get in the box. <clears throat> and get some magnets. There we go. Anything else we can do here? We still haven't gotten this. Hmm. I don't know. I guess maybe we come back. There's my way in. Where's my present? Oh, there it is. Crows, how can I shush them away? Present. There we go. Too sharp for my taste. I 
I need a saw handle. There it is. Mark and Veronica recorded Stan the Unknown Man from this window. Can we use our Swiss Army knife? I can't help but think that that would be very loud. <laughs> the metal rod. Back downstairs. Dangerous liquid bottles. Lost your head over a bottle. Need some stain remover. Needs a sharp object. That just turned into something else. Oh, okay. Last time we used an inlay. Scissors. There's the end there. Skull for you. Bottle for me. One more bottle. Somewhere. One more bottle. With a hazard symbol on it. Um... Well, it's probably right in front of me. I'm just not seeing it. Is this it? No, it's a hazard symbol, but it's not a bottle. No, I'm not seeing a bottle. Up on top somewhere? No. Yeah, okay, I feel like there should be another one in there, but I'm not seeing it. Dangerous liquid. I don't want to start clicking random spots, but... I'm not seeing any more dangerous liquids.
come on, it's gotta be some something super obvious. Oh. Psh. Sure. We found some acid. Good deal. Is that one of the bad guys? Calm it now. So, okay, we don't care about the guy who's locked up yet. There's a bad guy in this room. Just make sure you get your present. Need a valve. There's the valve. Now you're actually going to use it to get the other... Okay. Sure. Don't have what I need yet. Some bad guys. We have a bat, which we're not going to use to hit anybody with. We're just going to use it to stop this. Hitting people would be so uncouth. The gears work, but not without the crank. Something else I'm missing? Must be in our zoom inable place. Oh, there we go. Select the locks until all of them are open. So we got a bolt cutter and a lever. Stan Gore! But who tied him up and why? An order form for purchasing weapons. A stand in a stand in to want to sign. He's unconscious. We'll lever him up!
No, that's not gonna work. A strong scent would do it. In his wallet, he's got a key card. And the other half of this, or another quarter of this picture. That's Elena, Veronica. And I suppose this would be the, um, what's his name, Mark? It's got a bunch of numbers and stuff on it. I mean, uh, how are we gonna, you know, not get in a fight as soon as I do this? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go through that door, not without, like, a weapon. More than a lever. But I guess she would. Finally, some luck. Now take him down. Gonna hit him with a lever. You're gonna tip some boxes over onto him. So this goes up to here. Hi guys, looking for me? She just murdered two people. That monster. I am the target! And they're only paying this much? I feel insulted. Where's my present? I should have looked for that first. What if we missed it? Present. There it is. Seven banknotes. <laughs> Develop the film, please. Those are Mark and Veronica and Elena. Stan was there on that stormy night. That's a nice outfit. Complete the image by swapping the two triangle shaped tiles. So is this the bit that goes there? Is this like a random bit of sky? No, that's the wrong bit. No. Uh, 
That's not the right arm either. It's his head. Okay. I have to admit, it's very awkward moving these little pieces around. No, I have the wrong bit again. Wait a minute. It should be his shoulder. There. It's possible I did not look at the at the initial image as well as I should have. <clears throat> I was distracted, what can I say? That photo places Stan on the yacht! That's a car freshener. doesn't go there. Okay. Is there anything else here? Or are we done? The car freshener wakes up the dude, of course. Detective, you've got to help me. They want to rob me. They tied me and left me here when I didn't sign that order form. They murdered my Veronica. Please. Please. Stan, I know that you were on that yacht. Tell me what happened there. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Detective. Nighty night. Where am I? Upside down, hands tied, with a mask over my face? My hands are bound, that I can fix easily. Can't quite reach our knife. But with a rope and a hook. We're such a terrible cop, and we haven't checked in yet. I mean, we're literally sitting here with our phone. <laughs> I guess no, there's no service. Fair enough. But you should have done that the moment that you... That that dude attacked you and ran you off the cliff. Where's my present? Here. And playing card.
Where is the playing card? It's difficult to see. Am I just missing it? The light's still on, so there's there's something here. There it is. Alright. Broken glass hurts even my hands when not adequately protected. Nailed down. Good thing we have a Swiss Army knife that we can use to lever it up. Guess not. So this is where the guns and ammo are transported. It might be that I'm overestimating how good a Swiss Army knife is. We need to find a handle for the jack. What this is. And then move it out of the way and we find nothing. I can keep on moving it. Then we can climb up, maybe? Why did I want to do that? Oh, I can go up here now. I gotcha. I must use the last of the phone battery to lighten the way. To light the way. Drag the smartphone token to create a path. Through the ventilation maze, find a path to the yellow light source. Up here. Is it just a maze? What? What's that? A checkpoint? What, did I go home? Check in, woman. Card. And present. H Hello, kitchen staff. Yeah, relax. Uh, I'll go downstairs and make us some. Oh no, I must respond or they'll come in here. Yes, I'm still here, sir. Hola, kitchen lady. <laughs> Two daiquiris, pronto. You'll get your drinks with a little twist. Okay. Well, there's the other one of these. Handle is non-existent. Wait a minute, before I do anything more, we need to find our present. Present. Where is it? I don't see anything changing. Oh, there it is.
I mean, I'm pretty sure that's there. They go. Let's find more stuff first, then. So we have a cocktail shaker, a sleeping bell. Ah, I need to clean the glasses. Soapy sponge to clean cloth. She's taking this very seriously. Why is it letting me put stuff down? They don't have all the stuff yet? I don't have a clue. I mean, it feels like we should be doing something here. Okay. Uh. Okay. So, start with the lemons into the thingy, and then pull that out into the mixer. And then grab this. Okay. So lemons. Now let's put stuff down. I need. Why on earth are you making this loud noise at me? It's a squarish bottle. The stickers are mixed up. Restore all the stickers to find the related bottles. Well, that looks like water. I'm just going to count on the uh, shape of these. Because I, I could not tell you what different types of alcohol are. This is white rum, apparently. All right, start with this. Put that in. Then a sleeping pill. I need to chop them up. With my Swiss Army knife. Here you go. Here you go, sir. Nice. Mm. Wait, I'll finish this so you can make me more. Yes. Elena, where are we? 
We're in our family mansion. They're keeping me held on the second floor. Be careful. The second guy went downstairs to the wine cellar. But the kitchen is locked. Check the calendar. Hurry. <sighs> okay. Champagne is the one thing. That I can't do yet? Not champagne, right? No champagne. That's a cocktail. Or something. Okay, so everything else needs some sort of a... A gift. There's fireworks. So watch, yacht, toast, dice, cake, birthday cake with our can oh I need to put things together, okay. Copy cup. Watch. That goes there. Giving us dice. Ace of spades. Yacht. A toast. We need a young moon and wedding rings now. Well, there's wedding rings. And young moon. I mean, uh, uh, sure. Do we really need to do that? Could we have just lifted it up and found the key? <laughs> oh no! You! Oh, we gotta do a fight thing. Okay, so I'm the detective. Remember, I'm the detective. So we need greens. Give me some greens. <laughs> Quit it! This seems realistic, don't you think? Okay, um... I can give you a ton of red so that I can clear the board a little bit. Bit of green.
We're well ahead, but it's getting a little tricky to not give them points. There we go. No, not yet. More green. There we go. Sleep tight. Is it gone bust? Where's my present? Present. There we go. I can't open the door with just my hands. Here. Okay. These are the good pieces of wood. No. The E key. Now we got a crowbar and some gloves and the E key, Elena's room key, and the leather gloves. So, leather gloves, crowbar. Then you put the pegs in, and you gotta protect your hands. Press inside the bar at the precise moment to catch the tile into the frame. Inside the bar. It's fairly generous. I 
I thought. I want that. I don't know, I feel like we missed something. <laughs> Playing card. Present. Okay. I hope we didn't miss something there. That would be really annoying. Elena, it's me. Detective, come in. Like, can we go back to that room? So if I were in, I can't, no. Playing card. And present? Is that the present? Yeah. What happened to him? Quick, detective. Let's tie him up before he wakes up. Then we can talk. Oh, he's the one that we drugged. Gotcha. I guess the Dakiri was spaced just right. I should tie him up just to be safe. I don't really have anything to tie. A belt! That will do. Don't hurt her. Shush, honey. Detective, we still have your precious Duke. So if we see any sign of the police, your Duke will be gone. Okay. Our enemies are sure being generous. We still have your precious partner, Duke. If we see a police car, he'll sleep with the sharks. Take a picture of that. I guess you can't. Your phone's not working. Wedding invitations. Elena invites you to a party of the century. Glamour and joy. And special tokens. A QR code. Hmm. 
It's a battery? Spare battery. Perfect. Reassemble the torn photos to learn what had angered Elena so much she ripped them to pieces. Can I rotate? Or is it just in place? I don't know, I feel like I need to rotate him. Can I rotate? Oh, maybe I don't even need to look at the pattern. I just just I just have to construct it fresh. I was like trying to match it to the the existing pattern. It doesn't even fit there. Are these two different pictures? They are. These are these are these are diff several different pictures. Yeah, get rid of these for a second. So confidential. I am not getting something here. Oh, I double click and they rotate. Okay, never mind. I am an idiot. We do have to fit him into space. That makes so much more sense. I really can't decide who I hate the most, Veronica or that wretched Mark. While I'm trying to help our father to save the family bank, those two are spending money on that stupid makeup factory. What kind of man makes lipsticks for a living? <laughs> a man can make lipsticks for a living. And be no less a man for it. I've met a real man, a gentleman, and I'm head over heels for him. He's a little rigid and jealous, and his associates always follow me around. But he compensates it with lots of gifts. I'm happy. At least I think I am. What if he finds out we're almost broke?
Get out of the way. I'm trying to do this one first. There you go. Past two bills. How shameful. My dear, your beloved gentleman promised to save our family from bankruptcy. I'm thrilled, but I overheard that father doesn't trust gentlemen and has a secret file on him locked in his safe. When I mentioned it to the gentleman, he was really angry and demanded I bring him that file from the safe in father's bedroom. I don't know what to do. So, first thing, we have this picture that we can complete. And on the back, we have a whole bunch of symbols. A photo of Stan's room. Locks me. I didn't even try to do that, but that's my mistake. It locks me in, but I don't have pick locks. I have brilliant pins, though. I don't want to leave yet. We have this walkie-talkie. I didn't... I guess we did want to leave. I guess we're good. Okay. Can't do anything yet. Twelve symbols. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're looking for these things. Um, I want the present. Here's that. There's a swirly right there. We have eyes. An eye without a lash. Eye for a frame or is the way around? I've interpreted that very differently. There's the frame. Why is Mark screaming? Is that a bow? No. That's the bow. Half of a banknote. The other half's over here. There's the lash. Too many eyes around her. Oh, the skull. We just were able to pick it up. There's an O. We're trying to make an eight, so we're looking for another O. That's Stan. 
There's the luck. Exclamation point. Okay, so one O, there's the other O for the eight. Half a banknote, the other half. We need a heart. There's half a heart, but the other half is down here. Okay. And then IX. A nine. There's the X, but where's the I? I saw a gra there's the eye. That's a clever one. I would not have found that if I hadn't been able to mouse over it. Ooh, a ledger. That's a lot of red. Enormous debt, it seems. USB with a confession, as it stands. Stem? Gold, a empty gun, and some bullets. Good to have. So we still have these tokens I don't know what to do with yet. <laughs> really, the way we're going to use the gun is to break a lock with it? Look at this mess! What happened here? How do I know what's out of place? I mean, this dude, he's not supposed to be there. I'm just gonna guess that some of these things are weird. The bloody shoes. The rope. And there's one more clue. So the, the, we already got the chair. There's a missing thing here. No, it was just on. So one of these things is... Something in the fish tank? I mean, is it the shark? No. Let's see what the clues can tell me. Someone, probably Duke, was tied up to that chair. He was tortured. Then Duke's clothes were changed and he was removed from the room. Afterwards, the torturer used the chemistry set and made a poisonous drink. He gave it to Stan, who was tied up to the bed frame. Stan spit the drink out, but then he was forced to drink it up. The torturer then tried to break open the safe with the tools, but he was interrupted. He left, leaving bloody shoes and overalls behind. Some of that seemed a bit of a stretch. 
I must open that safe before the torturer returns. Fingerprint confirmation. Conformation. Hmm. Poor Stan. Is he dead? I killed my daughter Veronica, and for that I'll take my life with the same poison. I'm sorry for everything. I leave my wealth to my special daughter, Elena. Oh, I was gonna rip the finger off. I guess I guess that's different. <laughs> um, with a drop of ink, which I don't have. Duke shirt and badge. They tortured the man. There we get some. Nice ink for my love. I'm going to use a tape to transfer. I'm like 90% sure this doesn't work, but what do I know? Oh, I, I didn't even grab the present. There should be a playing card in there, too. Playing card. God, we can't forget the presents. I wonder how many I've missed already. Yeah, it needs a code. Time has come for me to confess my secrets, just in case something happens to me. Okay. Feel free, man. Am I supposed to click on something? The Gore Bank almost went bankrupt, but we were saved by a mysterious gentleman. Eleanor's new friend. Not without a price, of course. Bankrupt. And Elena. Bankrupt. And gentleman. The gentleman helped us, but then used our bank as a front for his gun smuggling business. Gun. Gun. When I wanted to stop him, the gentleman threatened my family. Stop. And family? I asked Veronica and Mark for help, and we acquired a video of the gentleman's involvement with illegal weapons. Asked for a oh, video. The gentleman saw the camera. As a result, Veronica was poisoned, Eleanor was attacked, and Mark went missing. Poison. I gathered all the files concerning the gentleman's gun smuggling business and locked it in my bedroom safe. Files. And safe.
I hope the one who's watching this will use the files to help my family and to make sure that the gentleman receives his punishment for all the crimes he has committed. Help. A part of the tile is hidden. Where on light could it be? On light? That's a clumsy hint, man. And punishment. Oh, six one two. Padlock key three. Evidence. Evidence of corruption! Everything is here. All the gun trafficking, trafficking scheme. That's where the guns are stored. Finally, the evidence to take them down. It's a phone uh, thing. Our garage code. Alright. All the guns are hidden here. Duke is probably on the yacht as well. And that's where I'll capture them all. Stan's fake suicide note. No way that Stan would murder himself. Another victim of the gentleman in the game. White shirt with blood. Definitely Duke's. Hope he's still alive. Elena's diary confession. She's young and naive. She was tricked or she's equally guilty. I think she's guilty. I blame her. Stan with daughters. This is the strangest part of the case. Was Stan involved in poisoning Veronica? Proof of embezzlement. Stan was tricked by the gentleman and his gang. Alright, so you're another victim. Elena versus Mark versus and Veronica. Elena was the infamous she. Okay. Voice message should be placed in the who is she. Elena is now a suspect. The shirt. Another victim. No, he's another victim. Why not? Maybe he's a witness. Sure. Suicide note. I mean, I would have put him as a victim, but whatever. Another place where the diary is the confession. The gentleman, okay. This is the evidence. And this picture, we don't quite know what to do with that yet. I don't understand why they're not saying that's the victim. I mean, it's a forced suicide note. Maybe it counts as a suspect? Not a very good Elena one. Elena introduced a certain gentleman into the Gore family in order to save Stan's bank, but Instead, the gentleman used Stan and his bank as a cover-up for gun trafficking. Elena and the gentleman are the main suspects now. I must get on that yacht and find Duke. Oh no, you won't! Move! To the room on the right!
All right. So we still have these special tokens, the QR code, the padlock key, and the garage code. Presumably. Oh, wait, before we do anything else. Card. And present. Is it this? Yeah. What kind of a lock is this? Maybe I need padlock key one first? I still have my special knife, so any type of screws are not a problem. There's the bad luck. Did I do it in the wrong order? Maybe reset? Oh. There we go. Jumper cables, car freshener, finishing a flag. Finishing a flag? Jumper cables. Car freshener. Duck tape. Duck tape? Car oil and horn. A bulb is out. There's the horn. Some sort of blade saw. Car oil. And duct tape. Grinder, okay. And this goes there. Car light. I've got these manuals. Ah, there we go. More more than one page is missing. More that one page. There's a gear shift. Oh, there's the oil. That's not duct tape. That's... That's duct tape. <laughs> not duct tape. Um... Who made that mistake? First prize...
What am I trying to do with this? It's a funnel. Oh no, it's a light bulb. My, my bad. There's the handle. First prize. That's the spark plug. And there's the final set of papers. Okay. There you go. Lights, electric, ignition, brakes. That's how we hotwire the car, I guess. I still have these special tokens. So, they spell brakes wrong also again. I don't know about, the, I'm seeing some more errors as we go along. In the mo For the most part, this game's been pretty damn good, but brakes? Here's the QR code. What do I do with this tokens? Only static. Maybe when I board the yacht, I'll be in reach of others. Walkie talkies. So, first things first, present. Playing card. We need to bridge the gap with this board. There's a shoe for some reason. I guess I need two planks. Ah, special tokens. Oh, detective. You're like a bad memory. Never let go, huh? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Focus, detective. Something, something. They're getting away! What is this? Jar of Nails. No. Why did you need two? Swiss Army Knife would have done it. And honestly, you could just jump out to this thing in there. But, whatever.
playing card. Present. Fuel tank's empty. So we got bolt cutters, harpoon gun, gas hose, an empty can. A whole bunch of stuff I can't do anything about yet. Alright. So, empty can. Or gas hose. I need money though, I don't have any money. Yeah. Alright. So we're looking for ice cream cone keys and a palm tree. Ice cream cone keys palm tree keys ice cream cone Oh, there's the palm tree. We need an N, an airplane, some goggles. Need a metal coin. Don't know what I'm using that for yet. There's a, um, a sea creature somewhere. Switch them back and forth. There. Shovel. Wristwatch. Goggles. Goggles. Okay, we got an incomplete picture there of an airplane. There's the lower half. Looking for a coin. What else can we find? Stars, uh, a wheel, a ship's wheel. Whatever that was, a whistle. There's the coin. Stars. Now we just need an N. And the ship's wheel. Ships wheel. So we need to turn this into an end somehow. There. Perfect. Ship helm inlay. Why did I want that, I wonder? get money? Maybe? Yeah. Money. Map of the bay. Okay, that's good too. There's the key. We 
instructions on how to use the thing. And I guess we're going to go diving in the future, maybe? I mean... Where'd my money go? I had money. There it is. I just had to pick it up. I do like how it's shown in both places. That's cool. Little attention to de detail there. As long as you don't need brakes for your car. Alright, sequence! Plug in the map. The yacht took a safer, longer route. We're going to speed up and catch up to them. In what order do we push the buttons? So, fuel. Then start it up. Pull the anchor up, and then zoom! Steer the helm left to right to find the safe path. A green speedboat will appear when you manage to choose the right path. There's like no safe spots. So left. And then left again. Okay. That's a very unintuitive thing, I'd say. So right, right, left, left, right, right, right. Okay, playing card. Not yet, I guess. Am I finally in range? Wait, someone's talking. Everything looks good. I'll check up on the prisoner. He's coming to check up on Duke. I must set a trap for him, quickly. Okay, my playing card. And where's the presence? There it is. As soon as you reach international waters, drop this one to the bottom of the ocean. This crate will be thrown overboard? I wonder why. We have a garret? Really? The lock bars are made out of hard metal. If I could freeze them... They'd be fragile. I can't reach it. Maybe a hook or stick.
If I had a cutting wire, I could damage the rung. Sure. I thought he was going to hide behind and wring his neck. Finally, he's defeated! You did treat him pretty much like your own personal chauffeur for like the first half of the game. He's got legitimate grievances. A skull thingy. No signal. No calling for help. Strange looking symbols, but what to do with them? 4837. Empty walkie talkie. Another card. Some mats. A sleeping gas. How do I turn it off? Uh, what was it again? Four eight three seven. Recreate the symbols given the instruction by using the cuttered cables to connect shape sockets. Okay. So purple is... It's a full circle with a couple diamonds in it. That could be part of it. There we go. Uh, I'm assuming that this cutter is that cutter, so it's even though it's not in the right order. So we're looking for uh, an X. And then for the blue, we need a triangle with that's bisected. Oh, uh, look at that physics. Nice. And finally, for orange. No, that won't do it. No, not quite. There we go. Ah, am I glad to see you, partner. But we need to stop the yacht, fast. We can put them all to sleep, but to do that we'll need two sleeping gas tanks and two gas masks. You go and find it while I change my clothes with him. Two gas tanks, two gas masks. 
We can put them all to sleep, but to do that, we'll need two sleeping gas tanks and two gas masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still need a hook or something here. And something to freeze these down. I think we need to go away and come back. Uh, oh, no. the, the ship is on fire. I must put out the flames. But I must first find the gift. The fuse is turned down, but why? A rectangular frame is missing from the button. I don't need any medical equipment at the moment. Apparently I wanted to take this card. Oh, the hook. Okay. Yeah, let's go back down. I mean, if you could reach with that, you probably could have, I don't know, used the walkie-talkie antenna or something. I'm skeptical. But that's fine. The fuse just out, or is it totally broken down? We need a better fuse. The red wire is at least. Hope it's nothing big, or the bad guys will come down to check up on the damage. I must protect my hand first. Present. The moonlight can't illuminate the entire room. There's gloves. There's the playing card. I need the light back on though. There we go, we got some wires. And they're even the same color. How convenient. There we go. Playing card present. One small cut. Before we do that, anything else around here? Yeah, we got skulls. Electric source. Alright. Let's see. 
So there's a sea monster that should be available, and a crane, and a puzzle piece. Crane. Sea monster. Sea monster. Wristwatch, whistle. Whistle. Tie. There's lots of stars. There's the bee. Something is stitched inside. We need to cut it. Needs a key. There's the wristwatch. We can make that work. Lighter. Subtle. Here's the badge. So we're looking for two more things. One's like a statue. And they're both hidden. One's in there, probably. The other is a shaver, maybe? An electric shaver? And what do we do with a... We have something stitched inside here. We have access to a paper clip. We still need to find more pieces. And a key, which there are keys right here, but that, those don't count. Yeah, stop doing that. Am I missing more pieces? Are there pieces I can get right now? Nothing up there is interactable. This? A broken zipper. There you go. Yeah, it's a shaver. And then some scissors. There's the key for the statue. Again, our skull and gas masks. Only in our skull. We have batteries. Feels like we can't do anything with this yet. Well, we could turn on. Uh, we could turn in the the masks. Oh. Yeah, 
Here are some masks. Great, but that's not all. Apparently Duke had found that while changing his clothes. Oh, I found this. Okay. We can put them all to sleep, but to do that we'll need yeah, two yeah, yeah. sleeping gas tanks. <clears throat> Rearrange the tiles to create the picture. When both the pictures are done, pull the latches in the designated direction and in the right order. I'm not sure what the picture is supposed to be. But... Ah. Like, is there the unfinished picture somewhere? No, doesn't look like it. But we'll just have to look around. I'm not sure I'm getting the whole the whole thing there. Where was the other one? Here. Yeah. So that's gotta be an empty spot. I'm wrong here. This isn't the right one for that, is it? I need more sky. Could it be that this is over there? I don't think so. Hmm. Those clearly go together. Does that come out off of that? So is that the figure we're drawing? Uh, 
kind of strange looking. Oh, this needs to be down there. Okay. I mean, let me just pull that down. that I can't mess with this bit yet, can I? No. So that's right. These are next to each other. Uh, that's not. that? I think so. So these two, do, do, they do fit. This is wrong. This needs to be there. And this needs to be down. And I guess this needs to no that doesn't that this one's left empty. wrong is this entire is this entire bit supposed to be up on top no no I don't believe that this should be there right that that fits yeah that places the Sun But now this is all messed up. Am I just seeing this completely wrong? Is that supposed to... No. I think that belongs there. But that can't be right, based on where the bird is. Wait a minute, no, I'm wrong. These two don't connect.
This is taking a long time, and I apologize for that. These puzzles are thing are ones that I'm particularly bad at. I'd say. Uh, these two need to switch. No. Uh, what do I have wrong? There's like one little bit of wing missing. Oh, it's these. This these are backwards. How do I swap these two? Good God, that took a long time. I apologize. That was that was a um, that was a painful mess, and we have to do it again. <sighs> okay. So this is in the right spot. So that means that is right next to it. I think. Or is that right next to it? Maybe we should start from the bottom. Might be easier to think of it that way. So that's clearly a, a bottom piece. Let's just get everything kind of in the right area, the right half of the map. That sky. This is the transition between sky and water. Is that right? The way these connect? It doesn't look right. It kind of looks okay, maybe. So what can go below that too? Something frothy, maybe like one of these.
That's right. These two are in the right place, but uh, they're there in the right alignment, but they're not in the right place. Like that, that looks good so far. I think that's right. Or is this better? No. Yeah, that, that that is better actually. But then maybe these two don't go next to each other? I don't know. Does that fit below it too? No, it doesn't. Does this? Kinda? This is above two. That one right there. Okay. Let's get that out. That works. Okay. So what what goes off that? Does that does that work? Kinda works? Maybe. That definitely works. These two are next to each other. Which means that does not work. Here, let me get the top back into alignment first. Just to see. This goes there, I think. Maybe. No, that's definitely got to be up higher. So that's the top, I think. I think that's right so far. So the top two lines are right, and this is the one that goes right above that. So let's put these up there. Is that right? That combination? Maybe? Ah, 
I, I really wish I had a picture of how it's supposed to look because I just it's not obvious to me that kind of fits let's see does that make sense and there's nothing down here I mean, I know the rest of it doesn't work, but I'm just trying to see if the left side of this works. These two are next to each other. These two are next to each other. Or another, maybe, maybe. These two are next to each other. I think. But that combination does not work. Maybe like that. This bit here is not working. But I'm not sure what would make it work. Because <laughs> these can't be lower. Maybe that works? Do I just need to flip these two? It almost looks good. God, that... This one puzzle took as much time as like the last hour of uh, the last um, I don't even want to know the last few screens. <sighs> I'm just not good at these type of things.
Thank you for the skull. A battery charger. A tablet charger. Okay. I have to admit, I'm a little exhausted from that one. Leave the gun behind. We'll take the wrench. I like jigsaw puzzles though. Jigsaw puzzles are fun. Okay, and they are rotatable again. I'm not quite sure how that fits together yet. Those sure look like they should fit together, but I guess not quite. There's a big blue thing. Or maybe there's two blue things. Well, I'm not making any progress at all on this. There we go. I guess I can't put them together freehand. I need to put them in the right spots. Or something. There. So it won't they won't lock together unless it's actually um in the right spot. So from there. Out of my way. Move. Yay.
That banker wants to stop our gun smuggling business. The gentleman ordered me to teach that Stan Gore a lesson. I poisoned the makeup of his daughters. But Elena wasn't supposed to be poisoned. That was my mistake. Sure. Alright. Let's swap pieces again. Oh, I can just swap it completely across the room, too. Nice. So is there... Is this the edge of the room? Top of a chair? I think they are, so we just need to move everything over one. Yeah. No! Give me time to actually get it, game. Uh, that's right with this, but that one's in the wrong spot. Alright. I remember this room. I just... Don't always see things right in my head. There we go. We kidnapped Mark and forced him to tell us where the evidence that he and his and his Veronica were collecting against the gentleman was. Where the evidence that he and his Veronica were collecting against the gentleman was. Wow, that's an awkward sentence. He died during the interrogation. Oh my. Then we turned to Stan and had a little eye to eye with him. All right, so is it just always adjacent? Yeah, it is. And the middle doesn't rotate, so let's start with the middle. That's a smoking gun! A crucial piece of evidence. I should take a look at the evidence I've collected. You should survive first before trying to solve this case. Weapon smuggling! The secret tablet is stored a confession of gentleman's most loyal henchman. With this piece of evidence, the police now have a strong case against the gentleman. The bad guys wanted to hide Mark's body. That's not gonna happen. The gentleman is obviously a guy who won't hesitate about anything. So, this is evidence. Evidence. Motive? It's a suspect, apparently. Elena is innocent. 
Really? The bad cop poisoned the lipsticks by the order of the gentleman. Their plan was to leave Stan without any heirs or help, so he'll turn to the gentleman, who's the real mastermind behind all this. I must stop him. I'm not sure I believe that Elena is innocent. I mean, they're saying that she's a pawn, but I'm not seeing that. I think she is, you know, hip deep in this. Or was I supposed to click on this? That annoying po police detective was after us, so in order to escape, we decided to stage Stan's suicide and remove all the evidence from his safe. Then we'll load all the goods on their family yacht and set sail abroad, where the gentleman will marry Elena. After that, we'll only be one more murder away from legalizing our business. I see. So that's why they're saying that she is innocent, because she doesn't realize she's going to get murdered. But I think that, as far as she knows, she's going to, um, she's getting, she's, you know, part of this whole thing. I have two walkie-talkies and a wrench. What do I do with my wrench? I mean, we're kind of far away from the initial plan. Anything more? No. Don't know if the gas tanks yet. I mean, I haven't made a freezing yet, so I haven't been able to... How do I freeze them? Oh! I probably should have done this a long time ago. So now we can freeze them with this liquid nitrogen. And give it a good whack with a wrench. It's clearly, you know, a dead body. Mark is gone. But we need to find everything else first. Night vision, binoculars, canteen. Night vision? Canteen? Binox. Headphone, compass. Compass. Headphone. Headphone. Not immediately seeing headphone. Let's um mess with more stuff first. So we got a helmet. We have a grenade launcher. Or a, a rocket. A rocket launcher. I can't say for sure which one is the sleeping gas until we found all the stickers. Gotcha. That's a headphone. It was not looking the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> Barbed wires blocking my path. A rusty padlock that needs some acid. Here's the wire cutters. Probably should be doing with doing something with this first. Because it's Yeah, a little awkward. A random grenade. Skull. I'm pretty sure that's the, the poison one. But we need to find some of this triangle. We're looking for this case of grenades also, yeah. Oh, this might be it actually. Hmm. 
That's the AK. A boot. Here's the dog tags. The boot. So a grenade case is the main thing we need to get. Need to make some room. There's a grenade. There we go. Sleeping gas is here, even though they won't trust me until I put the flammable one there. Okay. We're keeping the wrench so far, but I think we're good. Great, but that's not all. We'll need a map of the yacht with the guard post marked and two walkie-talkies. This guy's so demanding. Here, here's the walkie-talkies. We'll need a map of the yacht with the guard post marked and two Don't suppose we just walked past a map of the yacht. Something to do with our wrench. I've got a wrench. What can I do with it? Oh. Okay. Random map of the yacht. Priceless. Apparently I just needed to click that and it would have been fine. Here you go. You go to the engine room and switch the sleeping gas tanks with the air tanks. I'll go to the control room and when they are all asleep, I'll shut down the engines and call the police. Great. We are the policemen. No time to waste then. This is a complicated map. Create your path through the yacht corridor maze. Find the path to the air supply room. Position. Hurry and change the tanks, but don't trigger any alarm. Playing card! And where's my present? There. Break the glass to activate the alarm. Oh, what happened to my... My Swiss Army knife. Oh well. Needs a drill bit. Or a, a jack, they're saying? So where does this all start?
Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Got a key. Got some flammable something. Anything else I want to grab? A metal brush. Why not? Oil can, that's what that is. Don't try anything before I get some sort of instruction on how to change them. Alright, oil can. Here's the instruction. So flip this, then use a wrench, and then substitute with poison gas. <laughs> That's not what the instructions should say. The instructions should not give you instructions on how to add poison gas. <laughs> it should be how to replace it with another batch of, of um, O2. <laughs> There's like very specific instructions. I think that's hilarious. There we go. Bravo. They're all asleep. No, wait. The gentlemen and Elena are wearing their gas masks. They're heading for the speedboat. Hurry, partner. I'll meet you there. Not letting me do it myself. It's over. The police are on their way. Elena. How can you be on his side when he murdered your sister and your father? Shut up! It's true we have the evidence that the lipsticks were poisoned by his henchmen. Elena, you almost died from it. Enough! No, Duke! Please don't die. I can't live without you. What? He'll be all right, Detective. Go and catch that lying murderer. We can't I'll live without him? A sudden romance? Scuba Inde. Why are we using a scuba inde? To open a door or something? I'm gonna shoot the fuel reservoir with the harpoon gun. Okay.
Leave me alone. I won't go to jail. Oh no, it's another one of these. Alright, so we're the detective. We need to get green, yellow, and blue again. That was so much easier. I guess it's always the second phase that's hard. But... Leave me alone. All right. There's not a lot to say about when I'm doing this. It's just, you know, do the thing. Do it right. Do it better than I just did. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I apologize. Oh, yeah. I won't go to jail. Oh, there's another one. Okay, yeah. Three. Having trouble with blues. There we go, got some more blues in the map.
Just a bit more green now. There we go. I think we must have missed one set of cards. How frustrating. I knew you won't let him escape. Nice job, partner. You wouldn't. I'll let you buy me a drink if you tell me all about it. <laughs> oh, Duke. Ah, oh, we missed one. We missed one room's playing card. How frustrating. Interesting. These names, they're all um I don't I don't even know. Polish? Something Eastern European. Maybe explain some of the localization problems they had. Or is it just Russian? I don't know. Well, that was a fun little game. I quite enjoyed that. It only took about four and a half hours, probably uh, about one hour of which was just that one sliding puzzle. <laughs> I apologize for that mess. But yeah, I had lots of fun with it. I still think Elena was a bad person. I don't think that she should have gone away with it. Can we already do this? Oh, I think it's repeating. Okay. And now there are more artifacts Mundi Games are trying to sell me on. Which up? I'll, I'll be happy to be sold on. I've unlocked the bonus storyline. You know what? I think I'll do without that. We've already played for four and a half hours. So thank you everybody for watching. Until next time.